Alright, so in the last tutorial we talked about uh, the interface of Speedtree and you know the navigation and some of the different options in the interface. Uh, and in this tutorial I'm going to be taking a look at uh, you know some different generators and how to you know procedurally create a tree inside of Speedtree and how to edit them and a bunch of different parameters. And we're going to be taking a look at some generators as well and alongside with the parameters that are associated with it. All right, so we have the new tree window here again. So what I'm going to do is I'll just first off open a tree here that I will show you guys how complicated the network is to build something like this, right? So the heart of Speedtree is this generation uh, area here which shows the, you know, the sort of nodes that are connected and represent it to be able to create this tree. So the, at the base here we have this tree sort of node which all of the other nodes you can delete them or you can you know link them to one another but this one is the base so you cannot delete it it's just always there right and uh, to create something like this is fairly complicated and I'm going to be taking a look at you know all of these in a moment but I just want to show you guys like, like this is a very procedural system that is used to create this tree and uh, yeah so uh, let's let's go ahead and create a simple scene uh, a new blank scene and I'll show you guys a couple of them along the way so I'm going to go into a new blank scene and here we have our tree node as we said in the beginning so this is the beginning for modeling and uh, you know you just add on top onto it so first off you have the scale you, you can just click and drag so the scale is really important here because sometimes you want multiple trees and you want the area to be big enough to be able to encompass the trees and I'm going to show you guys in a second how to create multiple trees uh, you know so we have the scale here and then we have the geometry you know the geometry of the objects so if I let's just say if I go ahead and add a uh, trunk here so we got this trunk here and I go into the render and scribe mode you can see that we have triangles here but if I go back to the tree uh, you know operator or the node you can go and set this to quads which I actually prefer for the leaves and fronds and meshes as well so it'll be quads all along and then for the shape you can also change the shape and you know the roll the rotation and all that and the reason I was talking about the scalar here was because it's just the general scale of the whole thing right but then the radius is the radius of that area so now if you want to have multiple uh, like you know trees and trunks I'm just gonna go back to the standard mode and so if you want to have multiple of these so every time you create an object if you deselect you'll have the properties the window properties the lighting and everything which we talked about in the previous video and if you select something it'll be the generator all and all the options will be here and these are pretty simple once you understand for one of them it'll be pretty much the same for most of the objects so if I go I can go to the different tabs which associate with different parameters of the same object but if I want to control them all so you can click on this all first off we have the mode here which I will show you guys in the branches so you have the number so you'll have multiple trunks and now if you want to you know you can go ahead and go down there is this option called position so you can just drag it out here and then you will see that all uh, you know six of them are actually here and we've set them apart because of the f initial area that we had you know so if I if I rotate this you can see I and if I select an object I can visually also control them by these uh, you know controls so you can increase the size or decrease it you can also go you know control the rotation and all that alright so as I was saying you can go ahead and control the size you know the rotation and everything individually uh, or for every object and there's this very important option here so you have the generator which controls everything together 
and then you have this node mode you can apply and select a node and you know edit them directly so let's just say if you want to only work on this object so you can do it or this one or this one and you can go to the gizmos change it to scale or you can go with translate so the node mode is basically you know uh, allowing you to access individual elements of the object and move them and you know have change the different settings but if you want to change them you know in general you can go into the generator mode and there's this freehand mode which will basically give you like a lot more control over the object so you can bend it you know you can do all sorts of that good stuff to fine-tune it a lot more so you can you can definitely do some some pretty amazing things here which will be taking a look at this in some later tutorials as well so you, you see we have like a lot of detail a lot of control basically like a freehand thing and you can go and increase the brush size so you can basically change it to however you like it right you can select this one and do the same thing so it's actually allowing you to to have more creative control and the ability to edit everything sort of freehand so yeah we'll be taking a look at this later as well but for now we're just gonna focus on the generator and I'm just gonna delete this trunk so yes and I'm just gonna select this and add a trunk here as well alright so first off I'm gonna go to all and what I'm going to do is if I select this I'll just increase the size of this a bit and what I wanna do is go here and go into the size scholar and just increase it just like we did and now I want to add some uh, I want to add some branches to it so we'll be taking a look at more of these options in the branches so I'll select this and I'll add a branch and for the branch you can you can you have different options so you can change the number of branches as many as you want and then you have the different types here and before getting into the different modes I just want to go ahead and explain some of, more of these so you have jumble you have sweep which gives you like different looks and then you have roll which is basically like rotating them and then the one important thing here is all of these options have this sort of plus and minus thing which will basically allow you to have variance and randomization to the parameter so if I go here for the rotation I have the rotation right but I can also go and you know randomize it so some of them have uh, you know different rotations some of them have different and then for the scalar as well so you can go ahead turn down the scale or turn it up and if I set this to like what 0.6 you can go and increase it and then you can also go and add some variance to it so some of them are big some of them are small and just like that alright and then the sink here is actually really cool it allows you to basically push it out or in onto the object so it'll just allow you to have you know sometimes you need to push in or push out the object a little bit so you can control it with sync and then we have a lot of different options here uh, and you have randomize you also have it here so you just click on the branches click on randomize you'll get like random branches so it'll allow you to create like random trees out of one and again you can go into node and select every one of them and increase the size or whatever you want you can even go and chain them like with freehand tool which we did before so it's actually allowing you a very uh, great and fine control over the individual parts of the objects so the generator mode is actually a procedural mode of you know creating trees and then you want to make them more natural or you know more uh, organic so you can go and edit them with the node mode or with the freehand mode so it will, it will give you greater control over how these branches look and again you can go ahead and set it to randomize yes so I'll have random sort of branches but then you lose the changes that you made with the freehand and the node option so um, now let's go ahead and go into here
we'll take a look at some more parameters and then we're going to go with the different modes right so uh, here we have some randomization as well here for the branches as well and then we have if we go into the segments if I go into the scribe mode I want to change them to quads like before and if I go here and I'll select this and I go into the segments you can see that how many segments we're having is actually influenced by this so how much accuracy you want so I'll set this to like a hundred and then the length you have how many segments along the length so the more you know detail the tree you want you can go ahead and increase that and then the radial segments as well so don't want that much probably like one so you can go and chain that so the more you have it the more the tree is going to have detail but of course it's going to be much more slower to deal with and then for the spine you have some some pretty cool options here so you have the shape here which you can go increase the gravity which these branches if I go back to standard mode these branches will actually fall down sort of like a gravity look and then you can also control them from here so you j just go and control it it's actually giving you quite a lot of control here so the size and everything and then if I go select them you can go back to the spine here and then you have this ancestor option it'll basically sort of cluster them together and move them up so just like that and then you have straightness like how straight you want those trees to be or how bent and noisy and then you have twist as well so it'll just twist them in some kind of weird way so it's actually it'll looking really nice if I just go and select them go back to spine and turn down the ancestor so it's 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 really nice so I'm, I'm not sure why would you want a tree to look like this but definitely for creating some alien trees you can use it and then we can give it some variance here as well maybe I don't want that much so three is probably looking nice and then I'll select them all and just go ahead and scale them down a bit and yeah you have curl so you'll have curls right you know just like that it's looking really nice I mean for an alien tree and you can increase it so it's just like like a snake really you know and you can definitely go back to the general options and then you increase or decrease the number of these branches that you have so yeah and going back to the spine options you have, you have some more options here uh, but those were some really important options that we've taken a look at and uh, most of the times these are the options that you're going to be using and we will be talking a, a lot about the other options in some other tutorials materials displacement wind and all that but for now it's looking nice and we can also go and select this branch and procedurally add one more branch to this so it'll look something like this all right and we can go and increase them or maybe they're a little too much so if I select here the branch I will go back to all and I can change the mode to like this mode here which will actually make it different or bifurcation which will allow you to create like those sort of shapes and if I select this they're probably a little too much so just scale them down just like that so these mini sort of trunks you're having here and I, I go back here and I, we have the same options here but then you have like threshold you have spacing which will control like how many of those you'll have and I will just like set it to 0.1 and for some reason I lost my cursor I don't know what happened so I'm just gonna save the file and restart speed tree Alright, so I saved my file and restarted Speedtree. I don't know, for some reason it happens. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section below. I, I have no idea. So just double click again and we have the uh, sort of strange looking alien tree. 
so we can also go ahead and you know we have some options here and then we have the rotation as we have for almost all of them and then we can randomize it you know and then with the scalar as well so you want the scale to be low or high or you can give them some variance and again going back to the spine we have gravity which we've taken a look at uh, oops we went to the note mode so just you know increase the gravity I think this one looks pretty good so we may as well you know we might end up with something cool here so you can you can go and add as many of them as you want so you can even go select the last branches which are the fine ones and add another level of branch to them and if you select these which are really small you can go to all and you can change the mode to like flood or parent or classic and proportional absolute you can change the uh, sort of number to 10 so we have some very fine if you can't see it here if I go to scribe mode so we we have some very fine detail on this tree so I think it looks really nice so it, it just shows like playing around with this uh, program it can be really cool to it will give you some amazing results because you're doing it procedurally and you can change them and it all updates and works all together and if I hit 8 and turn on the wind you will see that they are moving and just like that hit 8 again go back to standard mode so I have a pretty cool looking tree here you can also go and select the light and change the direction of the light just like that you know it, it looks really nice and uh, yeah so I can go ahead and select the last branches which are really dense I'm actually gonna set them to 6 because of the preview and the recording I will go and add some leaves here so you'll have leaves and all you have here are some leaf cards so now we're talking we'll be talking about some materials so now we have meshes so I'll go with a material and we have no materials here so you can actually go and create one and I if you go to the speed tree you know sort of directory here go to f uh, photogrammetry and oak and we have the leaves here so just like this open and then the material will be loaded here but then we need to apply it to you know these cards so what I'm going to do is just select this from here and with this hand drag it here and then we have all these leaves here so for the leaves you can select them you can go and change the number of course so we'll have a lot of them leaves and you can do a bunch of different things let me go and apply a material for this one as well and for the branches so we'll create another material go up and go to the bark uh, not this one so I'll just go to convert it this one and I'll just middle uh, just lift click and drag to this and it'll apply it to all of the branches and the sub branches and all that but then if you go and hit 8 you'll have all these beautiful leaves here so you can go uh, select the leaves you can again you have all the options that you did have with the branches and you can go with the scalar scale them up or down I think the, the smaller they are the better they're gonna look but then we also want to have some variations so these are pretty self-explanatory as we talked about it in the you know beginning of this tutorial so yeah and uh, it's it's actually looking really nice here so if I hit 8 you will have the wind and we have this amazing tree here which we build sort of experimentally and again you can go and select one of them and go to randomize and then you'll have a completely different tree because this sort of base branch is actually linked to all of those sub branches and the leaves so it's actually working procedurally to sort of change the whole shape of all of them so it's actually really nice so you can get a completely different tree with just clicking on this button so it's it's really amazing 
So just click on it and then you'll have different trees. So maybe you're just building a jungle but you just want to randomize the trees so it's actually really nice here. Alright? Okay, so uh, yeah, just like that we've created like a simple tree so don't want it to be that strong just that much you know so the leaves are moving so we have it here and yeah I'm just gonna hit 8 and I can also apply the material we have different materials here you can also add, use your own textures we'll be taking a look at the materials in a separate video but yeah so yeah these are uh, some basic generators that we have here so if I go ahead and select this uh, uh, trunk here I can also add a knot which I believe is here so it's added it here you can hit W and move it down across the face of this object yeah so just like that now you can go and see that it is there you can make it here or just move it and again you have all the different controls here so this is actually if I go here and click we have a knot material as well so we have this one just double click on it and click here and middle click and drag it to this area and also drag it to the white part so I'm actually going to go back to the generator just like that you see we have the material so that is basically like a knot that you can control and you can increase the thickness just like that and rotate it you know and do all sorts of good stuff but it just add to the realism of the tree so I'll just make it a bit bigger size yeah so you can play around and create some beautiful trees here but yeah this is actually looking like a nice tree that we've built and we might even use it for some uh, future purposes and that's why I'm going to save this and yeah those are some of the you know generators and some of the settings that we talked about and um, and we have some photogrammetry stuff as well meshes which we'll be taking a look at in another video and uh, yeah so if you hit 8 you have your tree and you can also go with the seasons and all that so it'll just work the same way so it's actually a very very powerful and procedural way to create some uh, trees here so yeah this was the generators and some options I hope you guys learned something from it and I hope it was useful and if you missed anything or if any questions you make sure to leave them in the comment section below and in the next video we'll be taking a look at some more sp uh, features of speed tree and you know some other cool options that is having and we will continue from there